Hi there! So, um, today we're going to discuss the solutions of linear constant coefficient um, difference equation. But before we begin, I'd like to um, emphasize this quote that the fruit of your um, own hard work is um, the sweetest. So, as you can see here, yeah, um, I've made some drawing here grapes. I've tried to, um, you know, draw um, banana because um, banana is my um, favorite fruits. However, um, due to the complexity, um, when I try to draw, um, it's much better if, you know, I draw grace because it's much easier to draw. Okay, so um, our question in mind would be, um, why are we studying this um, solution of linear um, constant coefficient um, difference equation? Okay. So, um, why? Okay, so, um, the reason for this is linear constant coefficient ordinary um, differential equation are useful for moder modeling a wide variety of continuous time systems. So, since we're um, dealing with um, signal processing, um, this is really an important concept. The approach to solving them is to find the general form of all possible solutions to the equation and then uh, apply a number of conditions to find the appropriate solutions. Okay, so that is why we have a um, simpler formula like Kirchhoff's law is um, because of this. So um, basically what we're doing is we're finding a general solution so that next time it would be um, easier um, to solve because we're having a much um, simpler um, solutions for this one. Okay, so before we begin, let's estab establish the basics. So first is the um, formula for um, homogeneous um, solutions. So as you can see, um, this one is um, for the um, first order differential equation. Okay, so first order. So if we're dealing with second order, so you will add um, this one, okay, this one, so um, you have to, um, you know, plus this, so this is the um, second order differential um, equation, okay, so this is also um, the formula for um, zero input um, response, okay. 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 So now let's dive in into um, our first example. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've prepared um, examples here. Okay. So um, uh, for the first example would be this one. So as you can notice, um, as you can notice, it's a first order um, difference equation as stated in the problem. And we are looking for um, the homogeneous um, solution. So, um, zero input response is obtained by setting the um, input signal to um, zero. So, um, the input signal would be um, x of n. So, therefore, um, if it's set to zero, therefore, our equation now would be um, y of n plus a sub 1. And then y of n minus 1 is equals to um, 0. Okay, so um, the first step for this one is um, to change the y into um, lambda. And also um, one tip is um, the parenthesis of y make it into um, an exponent. Okay? So, um, what, we're, what will be the result would be this one. Okay, so as you can see, um, the, this one, I just made it exponent. And um, I just changed the y into um, lambda. So, um, we're ready for um, the second step. The second step would be um, find the value of um, lambda. Okay, 
So um, for this one, um, the um, solution would be um, find the value of lambda. So let's factor it out. Factor. You know, factor out is um, a, an important step because um, in second order difference equation, um, factor out is really um, the turning point of, you know, solving this problem. Okay, so let's factor out y n minus 1. Okay. y plus a sub 1 is equal to 0. So you could just distribute it and then you will just come back here. Okay, so um, the value now of y or the lambda is equals to negative um, a1. Okay, and then the step three would be um, you know inserting it into the homogeneous formula, um, especially for first order difference equation. So that's why um, I've made some review of using this. So we're going to ignore this part. So we're going to use um, this one. Okay. So um, let's go back and plug it right here. Okay. Okay. So this is the third step. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, um, I just um, put in the value of lambda into our formula. Okay, so um, that's the step 3. So now we're ready to um, for part B. Okay, so I've made some um, distinction so that um, it would be easier. Okay, so tip. Okay, so tip. If you're dealing with um, first order difference equation, um, there are two equations that we have to prepare, okay? So first order is equal to two equation to prepare and second order would be um, for um, equation. So you will know the reason why. Um, just remember this part. Okay, so that's why um, I've made some distinction because um, this is the part A. Okay, so and this is the um, part B. Okay. Okay, so in part B, we're going to use um, this equation mm -hmm. and also um, this um, equation. Okay, so um, we're going first to use this. So, um, y's of 0 transpose would be a um, negative a1 and y's of 0 minus 1 would be negative 1 okay so um, that's our first equation okay so we have to prepare um, another equation this would be um, this one okay mm -hmm. so um, another equation would be um, y sub 0 h of 0 is equals to um, c negative a1 um, 0 and anything raised to 0 is just um, 1 so c so um, this is our um, second equation so basically um, this, this one would be um, our homogeneous solution and um, our um, zero input response would be um, using the formula zy, zi, n is equals to um, a sub 1, n plus 1, and 
y's of, of negative 1. Okay, so as you can see, um, that's why um, we've made some review because um, we're going to um, use this one. But um, in this case, um, since our um, a1 is negative, okay, so um, take note that here a1 is equal to negative a1 because of this one okay so um that's it that's the um process for um, the first order difference equation so in terms of complexity um it is much easier remember the um steps here because um that is the steps for um the second order difference equation now let's move on to um the second order um, difference equation so um, example would be um, this one okay so um, determine the zero input input response of the system described by second order difference equation okay so let's begin with our um, first step so um, the first step would be um, remember why we're going to make it to y and then all of you know this one would become exponent okay so in this case it would be um y's of n minus um three lambda n minus one minus four lambda n minus two is equals to zero okay so that's our first step so the second step would be um, find the value of um, lambda. Okay, so um, as I said, um, factor out is a very important step or critical step on this one. So um, to factor out, it would be um, this one. Mm -hmm. This would become 2 minus 3 y i could i would want to add plus one but um you know it's common sense and four equals to zero and then from this um as you can see this is um a quadratic equation so you if you have your calculator you could um compute it and also um you could compute it for yourself but in um for the sake of simplicity of the video um, the value of or the roots of lambda is equals to um, negative 1 and 4 so um, take note that um, we're dealing with second order difference equation that's why um, we have um, this one okay so remember the third step the third step is to use the um, formula for um, homogeneous um, equation so um, y of h over n is equals to um, c1 y1 over n plus um, c2 y of 2 over n okay so um, we're going to use that so um, remember the tip that I've gave you that um, um, in second order difference equation you have to prepare um, four equations okay so um, so the first one or um, just to complete the third step it would be um, C1 okay 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 so you know I just replaced the um, value of lambda here so now we're going to um, part B okay so part B so um, all of the part B steps would be uh, in this one or in the orange um, ink so um, so the first equation would be um, using the given so this one okay so um, y of 0 is equals to um, 3 
trace of y so i just um you know transpose it trace of y mm -hmm. plus force of y um, negative 2 okay so that's our um, equation 1 okay and y of 1 is equals to um, 3 y of 0 plus um, 4 y of um, negative 1 okay however we could simplify it because um, we have this value y of 0 from this one okay so it would be um, 3 Okay, and simplifying it would be mm -hmm. thirteen. Thirteen ways of um, negative one. You could compute on why it becomes thirteen plus um, 12 y of negative 2 so that's our um, equation um, number 2 okay two more um, equation that we have um, to prepare okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. so um, the next equation would be um, based on um, let's change the color based on this one okay okay so um, the third equation would be um, y sub 0 is equals to c1 plus c2 so um, you know if c1 minus 1 and then n would be 0 so it would be um, just 1 and then 4 raised to 0 would be just just 1 okay so um that's our um, equation 3 okay and then um, equation 4 or the last equation would be negative c1 you no know? because um, negative c1 times negative 1 raised to 1 is negative c1 plus um, 4 um, c2 okay so that's our um, equation 4 okay so let's continue so um, remember that this is our um, first step in part b in which we call this preparation of um, equation so um, the second step would be um, knowing the value of c1 and then um, c2 okay so the second step would be um, this one okay. Okay, are you ready for the second step okay so let's just equate y's of 0 and then y's of 0 here so this one okay so um c1 plus c2 is equals to 3 y of negative 1 plus um, 4 y of negative 2 okay so and then the we're going to use um, y of 1 and then this one so y sub 1 would be this one okay okay so it would be um, negative c1 plus 4 c2 is equals to um, 13 
y's of negative 1 plus 12 y's of um, negative 2. So that's why um, we change this y of 0 into um, this one so that um, in this step it would be uh, much easier to um, deal with. So now we're going to find um, c2. So um, c2 would be um, cancel this, cancel this one. It would be um, 5 c2 is equals to um, 16 y's of negative 1 plus um, 16 y's of negative 2. So c2 is equals to um, 1 fifth 16 y's of negative 1 plus 16 y's of negative 2. Alright, so that's our c2. So now we're going to find um, c1. Okay. So, um, to find C1, we're going to uh, multiply this, um, this equation, okay, this part by 4. So, it would be, okay, so let's try to make blue for C1. So, it would be for C1. Again, we'll multiply plus 4c2 is equals to um, 12y's of negative 1 plus 16y's of negative 2. Okay, so as you can see, um, um, it is much easier to um, deal with this one. Okay, so we're going to um, multiply um, this second equation, this one by negative 1 so it would be um, c1 plus or minus 4c2 is equal to negative 13 y's of negative 1 minus 12 y's of negative 2 okay cancel this one cancel this one and the answer would be okay and the answer would be okay five C one five C one is equals to negative Y negative one plus four y negative 2 okay and then I'm um, simplifying it would be um, c1 is equals to um, 1 fifth mm -hmm. negative y negative 1 plus 4 y negative 2 we're nearly done okay okay so um, the next thing to do would be um, plug in, okay? Mm -hmm. Plug in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, we're just going to plug in the value of C1 and C2. I'm um, using, you know, the formula okay so um, this one this one okay okay so uh, I'm just going to copy paste this one did I copy paste it oh yes okay should not be here oh okay. anyway so um we're just going to plug it here so c1 would be um this one and then c2 would be um this one okay so let's try to um plug it here okay mm-hmm 
so ys of h of n is equals to um, c1 let's make it color code okay c1 would be um one fifth negative y negative one plus four y um negative two okay and then mm -hmm. negative one pretty long hmm. okay don't worry we're nearly finished and plus i'm going to insert here the um, value of c2 okay so the value of c2 would be one fifth one fifth 16y negative to um, 4n n okay so basically um, this one right here would be um, our finished product but um, you might be wondering on why it's kind of different on first one because um, you know we have this um, on first one we have this kind of form so um, assuming we've give a value here of okay so let's try to make a value okay so um y's of okay so um y's of negative 2 is equal to 0 y's of what negative 1 y's of negative 1 is equals to 5 and then um, C1 is equal to negative 1. C2 is equal to um, 16. Okay. So um, if we simplify this one, so as you can see, um, this one would be um, 0. Mm -hmm. Just to fix this one. So um, this one would be um, zero. This one zero, and this one would be um, zero. And then five. Okay. So um, why raise a negative one is five? It would be a um, negative one. Okay. And then um, negative one n plus um, 5 so cancel this one and then this one so if you do that so it would be 16 and then um, 4n and if you simplify this one so this one exponent rules negative 1 um, n plus 1 plus um, 4 squared so this would be um, 4 squared so it would be um, 4 n plus 2 okay so as you can see um, the homogeneous response is also um, the um, zero um, input response because um, okay so this would be also um, are zero input response because if a system is described by a linear constant coefficient so we have um, linear constant coefficient um, this one as you can see we have um, constant of this one and then constant of this one 
um, the difference equation, the zero input response is a um, homogeneous solution. So meaning um, y z i is our homo um, genus solution. Okay. So um, that's it. That's it for um, our video. So um, to summarize, so um, we've discussed um, a lot of things about um, you know um, this one. So um, remember that I've um, um, you know divided in part A and then this is the part B where you prepare um, the four um, equation. And then after you um, prepare the four equation, you have to find the value of C1. And then when preparing or finding the value of C1, you will just um, put it here. And then um, assuming this is given, so you will just um, plug it here. So um, I've made it um, um, color coded so that um, you could just go um, back and um, watch it again if you um, have some um, confusion so this is um, the first order um, difference equation also um, I forgot to mention so as you can see the first order difference equation would be this one and the second order difference equation would be um, this one so as you can see you have um, this one and then um, this one so it's consistent with our um, establishment of basic which is um, this one which is has a first order component and then um, the second order component okay so um, that's it for today so today we've learned of solution of linear constant coefficient difference equation okay so that's it I'm Jerome and happy learning bye bye